Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I am sharing two DIYs that I recently did in my home. They are very easy, very affordable, and they are going to give you that high-end look, but for way less. If you enjoy home decor and home DIYs, make sure you are subscribed. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so the first project, we are DIYing a frame for our frame TV. These TVs are becoming so popular. They're aesthetically pleasing with the idea of them looking like a piece of artwork when they are off instead of a big black box on your wall. I personally love my frame TV. I love switching out the picture for every season, but I've really wanted to get one of those frames that go around it just to make it look that much more like a piece of art instead of a TV. They do sell frames for the frame TV, but they are expensive. If I was going to purchase the frame for my make and model, it would be almost $600, which is, it's a lot too much. But don't worry friends, if you also love the look of the frame on the frame TV, I am going to show you how to DIY your own for under $50. First, I headed to the decorative molding aisle in Lowe's and they had so many different options. I was really looking for something that would obviously be the right length. I'm going to have to cut two longer sides and two shorter sides to make the rectangle and I also wanted something that looked ornate enough to be a frame but wasn't going to be too wide where it would make it very heavy and likely to fall. So this is what I ended up going with. I needed two pieces and they were $10 each, so a total of 20 bucks. The next step, I measured my TV and marked on the molding where I needed to cut. For this project, we are going to be cutting at 45 degree angles and a miter box was the perfect tool to help me do that. It was super easy to get those angles right and I picked up mine for only $10 at Lowe's. And I'm not going to lie, this took a little bit of elbow grease to get the cuts through the wood and I ended up using my husband's assistance for the last two pieces, but all in all, it really wasn't too bad. After we got the wood cut, this part is where I feel like my talents really shine because we need to come up with the right paint color to really make this look like a true antique frame. I used a scrap piece of wood to test out two separate paint options. One was Rub and Buff in the color Antique Gold and the other was Folk Art in Treasure Gold. I found both of these from Hobby Lobby and ended up going with the Treasure Gold because I thought it looked more like a true gold color where the rub and buff almost looked more rose gold. This paint went on really well with just a regular dollar store paintbrush. I added two coats and then let it dry overnight. The next day when I looked at the frame again with fresh eyes, I liked the color gold, but it looked just a little too new. I wanted it to look more aged and vintage. So I used my handy dandy antiquing wax this stuff I've had for such a long time and it comes in handy on so many projects. If you love to DIY, I highly recommend keeping this in your arsenal. It is definitely one of my tried and true. To apply the wax, you just paint it on and then go in with a paper towel or a soft cloth and rub it off and you'll see that it really settles into all of the ornate detail, really making it pop and it really just calmed down that new shiny gold look and gave it that vintage feel that I was looking for.
Now you might be wondering how I plan on attaching this thing to my TV. I wanted something that would be removable just in case because you never know. So I decided to go with this Command brand Velcro strips. These are for large picture frames and can hold up to 16 pounds, which is more than enough. This frame is super lightweight. I don't even think it weighs more than two pounds, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. The pack came with four Velcro strips, so I went ahead and added them to each side of my TV and let it sit for two hours. And then came the moment of truth. <laughs> I made sure that the frame was pressed into the Velcro really, really well, and it held, it fit perfectly, so our measurements and our cuts were great, and I just absolutely love how it turned out. It really looks like a real picture, like a piece of art is hanging there now instead of a TV, and this cost me less than $50 to make. We were able to put it together over the weekend, and it's just quickly become one of my favorite DIYs. Without a doubt I think DIY number one was a total win. Like most people, sleep is very important to me. I am definitely an eight hours a night kind of a girl, which means a comfortable mattress is a must. So thank you so much to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Helix knows that everyone is different, so they made a sleep quiz to match your unique sleep preferences to find the perfect mattress for you. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. I love a soft but still supportive mattress and am a side sleeper, so I was matched with the Midnight Lux. After sleeping on this mattress for a few nights, I can definitely say this is the most comfortable mattress that we have ever had. Our old one was just not holding up and that is more evident now than ever. This one was super soft, which I love, but still supported my back. Ryan and I have been sleeping better than ever on our new mattress and the online ordering and home delivery was so convenient. With your Helix sleep mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty and there are financing options plus flexible payment plans. So if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried yet, you get more than three months to make sure that you love your new mattress and if you don't, they will pick it up and you will get a full refund. The best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the U.S. I love my new Helix and I know you will too. If you are in the market for a new mattress, click on my link down down below or head to helixsleep.com slash Giffen and that will get you $200 off your order plus two free pillows. When I saw these window films while also at Lowe's, I knew that they would be the perfect thing to just decorate and give some pizzazz to this really awkward space in our home. It's this huge window on our stairway landing. I've never really known what to do with it. We have super tall ceilings there, this big awkward window. You can't really fit any furniture or decor there. So these window films are designed to look like stained glass, which is such a great idea if you have a space that has a big awkward window. You might want a little privacy there, or you just want to jazz it up a little bit. I think this would look really cool on a front door or just any door that has like some glass on the side. If you have a pet who's always barking at something outside and you want to kind of cover it up in a pretty way, this may be a great option. What you will need for this project is glass cleaner, a box cutter, the little squeegee thing that comes in the window film box, and also a spray bottle of warm water and a couple drops of dish soap. I've applied my fair share of wallpaper but never window film, so I'm just following the instructions exactly as they read, and the first step is to clean your window, so that's what we're starting with. I 
I taped one full piece where I wanted to start at the bottom corner of the window and as you can see there isn't a ton of material that comes in the pack so that was one I guess I would say con especially if you have a huge window like mine I ended up needing four packs to cover the entire thing I ended up taping it there just so I can make sure my second piece was going to line up well with the pattern and I have to say that this was one of the easiest patterns that I've worked with you know with wallpaper and things like that to line up it lined up on the top on the bottom and on the sides really really well once I confirmed which way my pattern would line up I creased at the top of the window so I knew where to cut that top layer I was really curious to see what the film would look and feel like off the back and it was not sticky surprisingly like I expected it to be. It kind of felt just like a pliable plastic material and it did have a very strong chemical smell um, but that did go away the next day but I did, I did remember feeling a little overwhelmed by it. When I was ready to apply the first piece I generously sprayed my soap and water mixture all over the window. They said to make sure you spray plenty on there and this way you're able to move the film around and just slide it into place. Once I had the film exactly where I wanted it on my window, I used that little smoother piece that they provided in the box just to get out any pockets of water and that part was very easy. Just make sure not to pull too hard because I noticed it did start to move my film over away from where I wanted it on the window so that was just a quick little tip to keep in mind. Anyone who's applied patterned wallpaper will know that even if you go ahead and make sure everything lines up, it's still nerve-wracking putting that second piece on, but I just did the same thing. I wet my area really well, and then my pattern lined up perfectly, so that was definitely a relief. As you can see, I do have some overhang that I will be going in and trimming off with my box cutter after everything dries. And then I just repeated the same process for the last two pieces. I measured and cut where I needed to. The patterns lined up really well. I smoothed out any water bubbles and it was just a really seamless process. And I really liked that I wasn't seeing where all the different seams of the four pieces were connecting. Everything blended together really well. I think this is such a great project if you are a renter and you're looking to do something that's non-permanent to upgrade your space. There's no adhesive, it's just the soapy water and then the window film and somehow it's just kind of suctioned onto your window. So it's supposed to be really easy to remove and I love how it turned out. I did find this really cute wooden decorative piece at Hobby Lobby that I'm putting above here for now just to kind of give it a little finishing touch. I think down the road we are going to frame out this window and I think that's going to really make it look like a finished piece and give off more of a true stained glass impression. But let me know what you think of this project. It was a little hard filming a window so the lighting might not be the best but let me know what you guys thought of this project and if you plan on trying either of the two DIYs that I shared with you today. If you do end up trying them please tag me on Instagram in your pictures. I love to see any projects that I've inspired you to do and of course any of your feedback or questions or comments make sure to leave me down below and I will try to get back to each and every one of you. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.